Hello, hello, hello. Well, if you keep up with me, you've seen different episodes when I have created cool things. And this cube, I think, is super cute, ready for fall. It's really neat. It has all kinds of symbols for fall on it. And I thought to myself, in case everyone is not feeling 3D, I thought I would come at you with my fun friends here. Some acorns. Silly, goofy, funny, corny acorns. And so I've drawn three of them and I tried to make all of their eyes different, all of their mouths different, give different facial expressions and just something fun for fall to make. I added a few leaves and a little bit of details going around the outside. And guess what? You can color it almost any way you like. I mean, acorns are brown and um, they're not all that interesting, but just thinking about an acorn, the potential to grow a, a tree from something so tiny to make a tree that's so big, I think acorns are just really cool things. So, ho -ho, I'd like to show you how I did this. So, right here, let's grab a marker. Okay, the very first thing I need to do is try to position one, two, three on the page. So, I'm going to start with a curved line just below um, the middle of the page. It looks sort of like a frown. That's okay. That's okay. That will be one. And then near the top of the page, I'll make another curved line. That will be a second one. And then one right here. I mean, it almost looks like a face, like someone's eyes are, someone's eyes are closed and they have a frown. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is draw the bottom of the acorn that comes down and to a point. So it comes down and curves and goes to a point like that. I'll try that again with the one in the middle, come down, curve, like stop right about where the middle is, and you just measure with your eyes. I call it eyeballing it. So I'm going to eyeball it. Really can't measure to make this. Okay, so that's two. And I will do the third one. I think this needs to be a little bit longer. And then come and I just curve and then bring it to a point. Very good. Very good. Okay, next I'm going to add the caps. And those are fun to find too. I find those all the time in my yard. I'm just going to start on the left, curve up and over to the right, and then stop. So just a little ways down from the, the curve that we started here, I'm going to come out, curve up, over, and around to the other side. And do the last one. Same thing. Very good. These are really high up on the page, so I'm just going to make a little curved line and its twin and connect. And I'm going to make this one curve the opposite way. Two curved lines and connect. And then this one, I guess I'll go a little bit longer because I have more space. Curve and connect. Very good. Oftentimes the tops of the acorns have a little texture, so I'm just going to add a few curved lines on the left side. And then I'm going to make some straight lines going across. Well, they're slightly curved. I don't want to take the time to draw all the lines. Maybe I'll add a few on the right. There. That's all I'm going to do for texture. I mean, these are cartoon acorns. They don't need a lot of detail. This one has a sweet smile. I'm going to make two big old eyes. One and two. Two big eyes, very gentle eyebrows that come up and curve down. They come up, curve, and come back down to where it was there. Just going to go ahead and make that a solid black color. And then what comes next is a bit of 
easy peasy looking to the right. All right, and I like to leave a shine in there. So I'm going to make a smaller circle inside that medium sized circle. And then go ahead and color inside and leave the shine white. And do the same thing over here, a smaller circle inside the medium size. You know, these eyes, uh, these cartoon eyes are really simple, just circles. And then he has a very, really wide smile. So I'm going to make a curve line over here and one over here. And I'm going to make the line come down, but I'm not going to dip it down too far and back up. And I'm going to put a little curve underneath for the chin. So he has, just has a nice pleasant smile, happy that it's fall, happy to be falling from the tree to get, be free to go off and grow another tree somewhere. Okay, I tried to make that better. Maybe I made it worse. I don't know. I'm okay with it. Okay, over here, I'm going to make the one that has a goofy face that looks a little cross-eyed. So I'm going to make something that looks like a letter C on this side. But on this side, the other eye, it's going to be bigger just to make it look um, a little goofy. So there, it's a little bit bigger on this side. All right, I'm going to make one eye up here like this and one down here like this. I want it to look really goofy. And I do want the shine. So I'm going to put the shine so the eyes look like they are really crossing. This is really a goofy, corny acorn. He is just a nut. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little eyebrow right here with just a curved line and one way over here. And then his mouth is going to be like a wavy line. But again, I'm going to start with a little curved line way over here and one way over here. And I'm going to make a line that curves down and up and down and up and comes over right to the middle of that one there. And in order to make him look a little way goofy, I'm just going to have his tongue sticking out a little bit. So that's just a curved line with a little line there. <laughs> Goofy, corny, acorn. And then this last nut is going to be laughing so hard that tears are popping out of his eyes. So I'm going to start with the eyes with straight lines like so, because they're, you're just going to be able to see the eyelids. So I'm going to come up curve over and back down, come up, curve over and back down. Now, this is the part where you make the eyelids. <clears throat> I'm going to start at the beginning of the line. Well, let's start with this eye. Start at the beginning of the line, curve up, a shorter curve, and then back down to the end of the line again. And do the same thing on the other side, curve up and down to the corner of the eye. Like that. And then I'm going to make a couple of raindrop shapes that are coming for the tears that are bursting out of his eyes. He is laughing his head off. And in order to make the laughing mouth, I'm going to start way over here, way over here. Again, a really wide mouth. And I'm going to make a line just slightly curved like that. And then what I'll do next is I'm going to come down curve way down and then come back up to the other side and the mouth is going to be open. I don't think acorns have teeth, but I'm going to give this acorn a tongue with a curve line here and another one there. And oh, then what I'll do is I'll color in this part. Take your time with this part. I'm going to just going to make it black. And all you'll be able to see is the pink or red tongue, whatever color you choose. I think I used pink. Some folks like to use red. All right, so there we go. <laughs> oh, but to finish this off, what I like to do is add a few leaves here. 
and I put one on the left and one on the right. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to start each leaf with a curved line. So one's going curving this way and one leaf is curving that way. And then what I'll do, this leaf is just going to be a leaf that is a basic leaf shape. So I make a curved line and I leave room there because that's going to be the little stem part that attaches to the tree branch. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That's a little bit bigger than that side, but guess what? It doesn't have to have symmetry. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. And then I'm going to add a few diagonal lines coming down this way towards that middle line and then some lines leaning the opposite way, touching that middle line as well. Now for this leaf, I want this leaf to look different than the first one. I am going to make two lines. The one at the bottom is longer than the one at the top. This one's shorter, this one's longer. I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to make a short line here and it's just a little above that first one. And just a little above this one here, I'm gonna make a longer line there. I like to make this kind of leaf because I think it's really um, familiar. I guess I, I see lots of leaves that look like this. So I'm going to start just below one of the leaning lines and I'm going to come up along that line and then curve down and then back over the second one and down and then over the end of the line and then curve down and over that little guy and curve down and come back and end it. And if you want to, you can add another little piece right here. So it looks like that part that is connected to the tree branch. And there you go. You have some wacky, funny, silly, corny acorns. And take your time and color. I enjoyed coloring. I, I just enjoy making art, but crayons, yes. Because you can blend the colors almost like with paint. I used pink and red and orange in this leaf. Can you see all those colors in there? Then for this leaf, I wanted to show how it was changing from the green leaf to the yellow orange leaf. And so I put green in the middle because that's the last place where the original color stays on the leaf before it completely changes its color. And I added some color around their eyes and yeah, I had fun. I hope you have fun too. I enjoyed making this video. Check out the video about the fall cube if you see that one. This might be something that interests you if you missed it. Uh, this is the inspiration for this drawing. Maybe I'll come back with um, a pumpkin or a scarecrow video. May yes, maybe I can make about six videos. Ah, this cube has given me six great ideas. I hope you enjoyed. Come back and we'll make more cool stuff another day.